Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, we're gonna practice reading manual blood pressures. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna give you several blood pressure readings, and what you're gonna to try to do is listen for those carotid cough sounds, which are the tapping sounds made by the turbulence of blood flowing through that artery as that cuff deflates. Now you'll wanna pay attention to when that tapping sound first appears, because this is going to be your systolic number, hence phase one. And then you wanna pay attention to when this tapping sound ceases, because this is gonna be your diastolic number, hence phase five. And it's important to know that some clinical instructors may use the last sound heard as the diastolic pressure. So follow whatever your instructor tells you. Now, some things you wanna keep in mind is that in a manual blood pressure reading, you generally want to state an even number for each reading. So if that needle falls in between two numbers, just round to the nearest one. Also, you want to try to keep that needle falling at a rate of two to three millimeters of mercury per second. Here's the first blood pressure. Here's another blood pressure. Here's another blood pressure. See what you get for this blood pressure. Here's another blood pressure. Oh, this blood pressure reading here, it was a little tricky. That needle was just falling way too fast, so you really couldn't get an accurate reading. So what you would need to do is really start all over. So wait about one to two minutes and then retake that blood pressure. And again, you want that needle to fall about two to three millimeters of mercury per second. Here's another blood pressure. In this blood pressure reading example, the air was not released fast enough. So what happened is that that needle sort of just stalled and was just bouncing. Therefore, again, you would just wanna retake this blood pressure in about one to two minutes. Now to help you interpret these blood pressure readings, here are the latest blood pressure guidelines for adults set by the American Heart Association. Okay, so that wraps up this video. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, you can access the link in the description below.